Hi, Trevor Lynn here today to give you an updated tour of WeakNet Labs. WeakNet Labs is where we do all of our network penetration testing, operating system security testing, uh, router security testing, you know, breaking access lists, basically WP keys, all of the encryption that we've been cracking and posting on our uh, forums and you know our website and all the video tutorials have all taken place within the confines of this laboratory here that I'm going to show you today. Um, first of all, I'd like to thank everybody that's donated things to us. Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank Gangles for the Vena router. I'd like to thank uh, Meanie for the five Pentium 3s I'm going to show you downstairs. I'd like to thank Hannah's mother for the hard drive and Fawn for the router. And also Asteroids, I wish you would stop sending us floppy drives. There's really nothing we could do with floppy drives. I don't know where the hell you're getting all these floppy drives from. I don't even know how you got my address, but that's cool. You're donating, that's cool. <laughs> Somebody's paying attention, right? Anyways, um, this is the control room here for WeakNet Labs. Uh, these two machines right here. I use this machine right here basically to connect to every other machine via VNC, SSH, or whatever. This machine right here is for programming also. This machine right here is also for programming. Basically, I, I sit here and I do programming here. And uh, Okay, now, the router here it routes all of the internet to all of the machines that you, you'll see today. These two machines get it from the router here. Uh, this black cable right here, you see running along the floor right here, goes down through the ceiling. I'm gonna show you, it pokes down through the ceiling actually. And uh, also I forgot there's a machine over here I'd like to show you. This machine runs off of a live floppy drive. I remember this was one of the first live operating systems. It was called Tom's Root Boot. And I'm lucky enough to still have a copy that I don't even know if you can find it anymore. This machine, so this would be a nice machine just for programming. And like, um, Network diagnostics, basically. And that's about it. Come downstairs, I'll show you some more. Okay, um, week-net.com is being hosted by this machine right here. This machine right here also uh, connects to every other machine that I'm gonna show you via BNC or whatever for diagnostics, network penetration, experimenting, what have you. But the, on the website here, we have services such as uh, Linux shells, Solaris, Unix shells. The Solaris machine is actually down right now because we need more uh, power cables. Uh, so, you know, we're still accepting donations, so please, you know, that'd be tremendous. These, these machines right here, whenever you send them for web lockers or secure shells, these are the machines you guys are going to be using. They range from 20 to 70 gigs, basically. And they all, each one of these is hosting a VNC server, Apache server, Telnet server, FTP, SSH. They're all hosting tons of files. They're all basically for, you know, programming, network diagnostics, and penetration testing, you know? Like I, like I said, all of it is done within the confines here. This, this switch right here routes the, the black cable I showed you from upstairs, comes down through here, goes into the switch as an uplink here. Um, first one I'll show you is this white one, it goes to this. This Fawn router is configured as a client. The one upstairs is, con is uh, configured as an AP. Uh, this blue cable right here goes to this, this hub you see right here. And that hub actually, you can see it goes through the wall. It actually routes to our Windows XP machine. Uh, all of these cables right here go to these machines except for this black one. The black one goes to our second router that's downstairs here. This machine's taken apart for experimentation. This 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 router right here is basically the demilitarized zone is back here behind this router. And this is a Navy NOS machine. It's still a live CD machine just because it's so slow. Um, the MacBook is a wireless client and a wired client. I use it basically to you know diagnose, you know, just play around with network stuff here. This is basically like a computer playing around here at WeekNet. This is the Solaris machine that has a you know, it has tape drives, tons of tapes, tons of uh, tons of space. Samba server, tons of space, but we don't have cables, you know, enough power cables. Plus, who knows what the electricity bill is going to be like here, right? This is a game plan here. This is basically the network topology here at WeekNet. This one is the router I showed you upstairs. This is the black cable coming down from the floor to, to the neck here, 14 switch. Um, these two are the two programming computers I showed you upstairs. These four right here are the machines that you guys will be connecting to via SSH, VNC, you know, any web blockers, whatever, you know, whatever you sign up for, these are the machines here. This is my machine that's hosting the website that I just showed you. This is our second router, also coming to here, going to, you know, to militarize. The, this is the hub that I showed you on the wall there, going to the Windows XP machine, which is the last machine I'm going to show you today. In this room over here, it goes through the wall here. 
uh, comes out of the wall here and runs along the floor here. Basically we did this because we didn't have a long enough Ethernet cable. Uh, whoops, part two. <laughs> Again, we ran out of uh, space on the SD Duo card. But anyways, that Windows machine is basically what we use to edit all of our movies. We use it to make music. You know, I made the website with it and everything. Also, too, I'd like to mention we are not a we're a nonprofit organization. Whenever you sign up for the shells or the web lockers or whatever, um, the money actually goes to paying the elect the electric bill here. Basically, it just passes right through us. So basically, you're paying the electric bill for your <laughs> for your shell. And uh, that's it. I'd like to thank everybody for watching and thank everybody for the donation.